pack a bow, my friend, and don't forget to pass the blend. Pack it up, my friend, and then we'll wind up and we'll smoke in the ashes in the end. Pack a bow, my friend. me that blend, would you? Welcome back in, y'all. <clears throat> it is good to see you here on Sunday. I seem to have skipped a week, and there's a reason for that. Either way, isn't there always? Um, but nonetheless, y'all, it is good to see you here. Uh, stop by to chat with me for a little bit. Um, I don't have a lot today, but I have a little bit. Um, I need to get back into the swing of things. Kind of got uh, messed around here on my vacation. And um, we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, but let's get into it, y'all. I have a new pipe. And um, I have mixed feelings on it. But let me tell you about how I came about this new pipe. I was watching a video from the Red Coats Returns. Um, for those of you that have uh, ran across his videos, uh, rather um, educated and uh, well-mannered uh, gentleman uh, overseas. Um, can't quite remember which country he's in. Um, but either way, he sounds English to me. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But... Either way, Redcoats Return, y'all. If you want to check him out, check him out. Um, but he was talking about a new pipe that he had gotten, which now I, in turn, followed suit. Uh, a porcelain pipe, a ceramic pipe. Um, now, that's not like an, an, uh, a cut mirrorsham pipe. Um, looks a little different. To me, y'all, kind of looks like Grandma's old dishes. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you here. Um, he was talking about this pipe and, um, reviewing it and going through it. And man, it sounded so interesting to me. The coolest part, y'all, that I thought was, was just very convenient and very cool was when he got done smoking the pipe, he briefly cleaned it, but here's the kicker. He put it in the washing machine, the dishwashing machine. And was able to let the dishwasher clean his pipe. I thought, good lord, that is convenient. That is very cool. <laughs> um, he didn't have to soak it and take time to do things. Um, he just put it there. And then when he got done, he pulls it out. And well, he shows you pictures of when he pulled it out. And of course, the inside of the bowl is a little stained, but it was clean. And I said, good lord, that is that's really cool. And I was, got, I was very curious, y'all. I was... Um, fascinated with this new pipe of his. So I turned right back around and I ordered one. Uh, wasn't a lot for me to find on Amazon. I can't remember where he said he got it. But I found one on Amazon and I ordered it. Very inexpensive. I think it was 20 30 bucks. 30 um, And it came in, y'all. Here it is. Um, so it looks like Grandma's, grandma's dishes, y'all. And um, it's white, like ceramic, like uh, your ceramic tile, um, porcelain, whatever you want to call it. And then, of course, just a normal old plastic, uh, the normal tip you get, you know, with pipes, the cheaper pipes that you buy. It's fine. It does the job. It is nine millimeter. So if I wanted to, I could put a filter in it. A little dirty in there. Um but uh either way i've smoked about i don't know since i got it i've smoked about three or four bowls out of it i've yet to put it in the washer in a dishwasher um but i have mixed feelings on it now the gentleman there redcoats return um 
he he seemed to favor it. He 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 liked it. He said it was fine. Um, but what but what I'm finding is the taste of your tobacco, at least in my opinion, is very um. It's not as prominent in this ceramic pipe as it is in, say, a briar. Um, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's just my hang up or something. Because I, you know, I tend to see a difference in flavor between my cobs and my briars. It, there's a difference, a slight difference to tell you. If you was to blindfold somebody and say, what do you, you know, what, What's, what are you smoking, a cob or a briar? It's possible you could tell. If you, Well, I mean, of course, if you're holding it. But if you didn't hold it and someone just put it up to your mouth and told you, hey, what are you smoking, a, a cob or a briar? I'd like to think you could tell the difference, the subtle difference. Um, I think that's the case here with this ceramic pipe. I do tell the difference between... You know, a briar, a cob, of course. I don't I don't have one here to show you. But um and then of course the ceramic. Yeah, the ceramic pipe seems to give me a, a not as strong of a flavor. Now I don't I don't know if that's a placebo, if that's just me thinking or searching uh for a difference, y'all. Um and I don't know maybe if it just if it's that I need to build up a cake in the bowl or something of that effect that nature I I've, I've like I said I've smoked four or five bowls out of this and it's yet to really build up a cake if it does build up a cake I I think it's going to take quite some time if you look closely I don't know if you can tell um, it's just gotten dark inside the bowl um it hasn't built up a cake yet at all um and since it is ceramic i'm afraid to ream it so when the day comes if it does build up a cake i suppose i'll just probably use a dottle pick and do my best um because i don't know what a reamer would do to ceramic if any of you all know let me know there may be some of you out there that have um, experience with ceramic pipes. Um, and if you do, it'd be nice for you to comment and tell me, will it build up a cake? Um, did you find a difference in flavors between uh, the way a ceramic smokes and a briar, the way it smokes, and a corn cob, either way? Um, just put down maybe your experience of what you, if you come across these things. Other than that, y'all, it smokes really well. Now, I was thinking with ceramic, I thought it might dissipate the heat a little bit better. I don't quite think that happens. I think it still just gets as warm as a briar or a cob. Actually, I think a cob's a little cooler. It dissipates the heat uh, than all three of them. But I've yet to try a real true Meerschaum, and I need to do that. Um, I'll find me one one day, and I'll buy it. So, um... You know, and then you, you got briars, and I also have pear wood and olive wood pipes. Uh, the wood pipes, they all, to me, in my opinion, seem to smoke, the, you know, the same. Um, cobs have their own nuances. Now I'm finding out ceramics, porcelain, whatever you want to call it, uh, they have their little nuances. And I, I'm thinking maybe as it breaks in, maybe as a, as a, cake builds up inside the bowl maybe that will change a little bit but as of right now and what i'll consider this break-in period um it's a little strange for me y'all i mean it's fine but still strange i don't get the if i smoke the same blend in a briar and then come back and smoke it in this ceramic um the ceramic seems a little timid uh, in flavors and in the way it reacts compared to when you smoke it in a briar. Um, but if you would, comment if you have any experience uh, or you own any of the ceramic porcelain pipes. And let me know what you found. Maybe something similar, similar maybe something completely different. Um, does it get better with, with a cake that builds up? 
um, did you put yours in the dishwashing machine to clean it? <laughs> I thought that was the seller right there, y'all. I was, I was sold, sold right there. Um, of course, he pulled the stem and just put the porcelain part in there. Um, I would think that'd be common sense, maybe, maybe. Um, but in the bowl, y'all, let's move on here. Smoking grandma's dishes. <laughs> That's right. It looks just like grandma's dish pattern, y'all, from back in the day. Um, in the bowl is John Cotton's Double Pressed Kentucky. Um, now, I've showed y'all this one before. It is a basically a pressed cake that you just rub out. And uh, it, to me, it's a, a more timid uh, flavor than um, Old Dark Fired. So Old Dark Fired, for those of you that know, very strong barbecue, um, very lots of flavor in that in that blend. Uh, John Cotton's Double Pressed Kentucky uh, is like that. It's in the genre of that tobacco flavoring, and it uh, it's just a, it's just a more timid. Just knock it down a couple notches. Uh, when it comes to flavor and when it comes to nicotine and you know all the things that are going to come in and slap you around um but it's good it's a good just mellow smoke and um i i enjoy it from time to time y'all when i'm not uh oh, well look here y'all old joe Krantz has become uh, an everyday smoke for me along with my chenay's cake of course um but anyways john cotton's Kentucky's in the bowl. Let me get that lit up and then we'll talk for a moment. Getting a little hot in here. I'm going to turn the fan on. Um, Y'all, I, I, uh, you might notice, I should have pointed this out right at the start. I'm not in my normal setting that I'm in my normal setting. Uh, I changed, I took down my theater room, as you can tell, and I made this my new crafting room. Um, it gave me a lot more room, and I, <clears throat> I kind of moved my theater room down to where the crafting room was, um, because I don't use it that often and, uh, did some, did some, just some shuffling around and stuff. Give me a lot more room. Um, I really enjoy having the craft room up here. Uh, I was able to organize better, move around better, um, and do things. Let me let's see if I can do this. Hold on. Let's do this. So that might give you a wider view. Uh, you can see in there. So that's kind of uh, gives me a lot, lot more room, a lot more space um, to uh, do my crafting, leather working and, and um, wraps and just whatever I need to do at the time, y'all. Uh, which I'll show you a small project, the first project I've done up here in the new craft room. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, that's why I've got this new uh, situation going on here. Uh, tell me what you think. Did you like the older one? I'm sure you did. I did too. One thing I did notice about having the theater room up here, the the acoustics uh, were better. They deadened because uh, I had curtains on the walls all the way around, all the way up to the top um, and on the ceiling uh, to give it a nice dark feel when you're watching a movie. It also deadened the sound when I was doing my videos. Um, I did a test run here of a video and found out that there's a little, I got more airiness in my voice now, more an echo, uh, because it doesn't have the curtains to deaden that sound. I could get deadeners and put them, put them up, but I don't want to y'all. Um, I think, I think I'll be just fine. Um, but I do, I do like the way it all turned out. So I had vacation this last week, uh, and had got things kicked off and started um, that Friday after work uh, and um, worked. 
I got to Sunday and realized, oh, it's time to drop by and see the see the community, the YTPC. But I was so dead tired, y'all. Everything I did, uh, taking all the equipment from here downstairs, because I am upstairs right now. I don't know if y'all can tell. Let's, let's go back and look real quick. Um, right here. So if you see these windows right here, these windows look down um, into my living room. So I am upstairs right now, and um, it was crazy. I just put on my back brace, <laughs> and I started carrying everything down by myself. Uh, my wife wasn't feeling very well, so um, uh, she came out one time and seen me coming down the stairs with some with some heavy stuff. And she says, oh my God, let me help you. I said, no, babe, but you can help me by going back in the bedroom and just leave me alone. Um, and I did it all by myself. And then I brought all this stuff up here uh, by myself and set everything up. Um, when I got done, I couldn't believe I did it. Because if you've seen the things that I moved around, um, <laughs> you would have thought, good Lord, did you break your back, Johnny? Well, I had my back brace on, took care of it. And, uh, but... My smoking area here, uh, like you see, uh, hasn't changed. Just everything behind me has. Um, let me know what you think of it, y'all. Like I said, I know it's it's a change of scenery from, um, well, in the beginning I was doing a green screen, then I went to my, move, my theater room area, and now craft room area. <laughs> so it changes it up a little bit, y'all, if you got tired of seeing the same old thing. A little brighter in here. Y'all, I was online looking, I went to the normal place that I order tobacco, if I'm going to order it, and I don't go to my local shop here in the DFW, Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. Um, if I order offline, I usually order to tobacco and pipes. And um, I had noticed that for quite some time, I was trying to get a hold of, again, uh, old Joe Kranz. And um, they didn't have it. Now, remember, I told you they didn't have it, so I turned around, and I bought the next best thing, which was Haunted Bookshop. And that's fine. But I really was craving that uh, old Joe Krantz brown label. Not the blue, or the white, or the red, but brown label. Um, has a lot of perique in it. I like that, that, that blend. But um, anyways, so I finally said, well, what's going on with, with tobacco and pipes thing? They just keep saying out of stock, out of stock. Because uh, I gave them a week and I thought they should have it back in stock now, but they didn't. So I went to Smoking Pipes. I know some of y'all use that website, so I went there. I'm kind of loyal, y'all. I get stuck on one and I stay there. But in this case, eh, they kind of lost me <laughs> when they were going out of stock on, 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 on blends. So I went to Smoking Pipes, looked there, and they had it. I said, well, good Lord. I turned around and ordered two of the large tins. Um, that way I could put one away and be dipping into one. Um, but yeah, so we're back in line with old Joe here. Uh, still got our Sinead's Cake and Hana Bookshop amongst other stuff. Always, everywhere. There you go. Um, but uh, yeah, so I may switch between tobacco and pipes and smoking pipes. You know, we'll find out who's ever got, you know, my blend at the time. It didn't take long to get in. Uh, it took about mm, four or five days to get here. Um, either way, in snail mail, doesn't matter. I don't try to order that stuff overnight. They, they charge an arm and a leg just to get it overnight. Crazy. Um, but, y'all, so I was telling you, I did my first project here in the new craft room. And I had uh, one of our viewers, Mr. Stevo, Mr. Robo Stevo, uh, my brother here just down south from us, um, here in Texas. And he sent me an email of a knife sheath uh, that he found that he, he thought would be really good uh, for the way he carries or would like to carry his pocket knife. Uh, now he has a fixed blade sheath, but he has a pocket knife also. And thought, hey, Johnny, could you make me one of these? Uh, because, uh, you know, the other one was on Amazon. And who knows what kind of, you know, if they even use leather. Is it vinyl? Uh, who knows? 
Um, you, all, you all have had the experience with things like that. Um, so he said, I'd rather, you know, you make it. And I said, sure, sure, sure. So I, my first project up here was that knife sheath. Now let me show that to y'all. We'll start over here. Now, of course, I got some leather here. Um, I believe this is a five ounce leather, four or five ounce leather, and um, started cutting out my design and uh, getting it ready to go. Um, this is going to be okay. Well, here's a quick picture of myself, y'all, in the room. There you go. See back in here, the computer desk area. That's where I'm sitting right now. <laughs> um, but um so i've started putting it together now as you can kind of see let's let's try and make this bigger there we go um you can take your bullet your your your, your pocket knife a folding pocket knife of course and put it in from either direction this way that way so you want to draw from the left you want to draw from the right uh it's it's ambidextrous that way um uh, for a person to put a knife sheath in and i thought that was pretty nice you know, because not everybody's left-handed, not everybody's right-handed. We're all different. This way gives you the option for both. And um, so I put a little bit of a snakeskin print on the outside. The rest of it is just a smooth uh, four or five ounce leather. Another picture of that. Uh, here's a picture of my leather station here in the craft room. You can see I'm I'm getting ready to stain it, y'all. Uh, here on the on the table. Now, stuff I've made for Steve-O in the past has been a dark brown. So I went ahead and decided he probably, I didn't ask him, y'all, but I just kind of assumed he'd want it the same color. So I went ahead and I stained it a, a dark brown. Uh, and, of course, you know, put the old handcrafted by the Johnny P right there. Um, sewed it up. Looks really nice. I like it. Um, I put my pocket knife, my favorite pocket knife in here to show you how it work, um, right there. And there's another picture of it. So you can put this on your belt from behind. And then of course, instead of being a horizontal, I mean, a vertical draw, uh, you're going to draw from a vert, you know, uh, horizontally, either from the left hand or from the right hand side, depending on how he puts it on his, you know, Put it on his belt and depending on how he puts his knife in there so i really like this it was it was a fun little project um i still need to put a sheen on it i think i'll put a a gloss or a satin sheen on top of this leather to protect it i forgot to do that i just now noticed that but um it was a fun little project and um either way i just wanted to show you the first little thing i i got going here in the um in the in the new craft room uh you know i build one for myself but i had you know I, I i tend to become quite fond of things that i've had for quite some time like i said my truck the 2008 i've had her since she was new and instead of trading her in getting something with the new bells and whistles my truck is just my my old friend that i get into she's never let me down same thing with certain things like that you know uh my knife sheath that i've always had i don't know y'all let me let me let me show it to y'all uh right here so this knife sheath right here i've had this one quite some time love them both together um and then of course y'all know i just built a new holster uh not too long ago just because i could um, and I kind of, I kind of wanted to do something a little different with that, but my knife sheath works fine, but I do like, and was interested and fascinated with Steve-O's request and I made it for him. So that would be the new knife sheath for his pocket knife. Um, and Steve-O, that'll be coming your way. Uh, either way, so on my vacation, y'all, uh, I did so much. Like I said, I, I, I switched out, you know, craft room, theater room. I also, since my truck, y'all knew my truck had gotten, gotten in an accident. Let me like this pipe, y'all.
I decided that since the truck, you know, had gotten repaired and everything, I looked at it and I thought, you know, I need to show this truck some love this year. I really do. So as a mechanic, y'all, a lot of mechanics, not all of us, but a lot of us, we don't worry so much about our vehicles because we know if it breaks, we can fix it. So it's not a big deal to us. A little light comes on. As long as she's still running good, we'll just keep pressing down the pedal. Um, versus, you know, other people, I've talked to them, they said, oh my God, my windshield wiper low light came on. Oh, and I look at them, we'll put some fluid in it. God damn, man. <laughs> um, but people get worried about every little light that goes off, every little sound or nuance that happens with their vehicles as mechanics not so much oh that's my brake squeaking okay i've got about another couple months maybe and then i need to change them out i'm going to do rotors anyway so who cares if they rear through the rotor <laughs> but that's how mechanics do now if you're a plumber you probably have the same thing i i'll fix it later why because i can you know if you're in construction same thing i'll build it later why because i can um and it goes on with many people's different careers so from 2008 until um, till now here in 2024, I've just basically changed the oil in it, y'all. I haven't given her any real love. So this last week on vacation, I did a bunch of servicing to the truck. Um, and I did, uh, I did all my fluid changes, all of them. I changed my differential, um, brake fluid, power steering fluid flush. Um, my coolant I had done two years ago, so I didn't do it. Um, uh, the only reason I did that is because I slid on some ice and crushed the front of my truck. Um, these, these bridges, when you're going over bridges, y'all, look out for the ice. Um, I, uh, wasn't thinking about it and we had icy bridge and I went up it. Yeah. And the truck said, boom, right into the K rail. Uh, so I put a new radiator in at the time and new coolant then, but, uh, flush of transmission. Uh, I did everything except for the oil, the engine oil, because I'm waiting for my maintenance light to come back on. Then I'll do it then. But so I did all that servicing. I put brand new uh, Bilstein 4600 uh, shocks up in my struts. So I had to, of course, release my lower knuckles, open that up, pull my struts out, and uh, replace those shocks, put those back up in. I put brand new brake pads, Bosch brake pads, all the way around. And... Um, I did some work on the interior, put a brand new LED strip light um, on my upper console. Did a bunch of work uh, to the truck. Uh, tinted the front windows. I gave it a lot of love, y'all. I figured this year is the year to, to show her some love because she's doing so good. She's taking care of me. It's time for me to take care of her. And uh, so that's what I also did on this last vacation. So never a dull moment around here, y'all, like I've told you before. Uh, and that's on top of taking care of my normal homestead uh, chores that I have. Taking care of the animals, taking care of the pastures, taking care of things of that nature, which I did take a day off uh, from doing all those chores. And I took care of some uh, homestead chores that I needed to get going. So it wasn't really a vacation in the end. I did a ton of work, but that's how it worked with me, y'all. Um, I kind of let certain things go, and then I end up having to take a vacation just to catch up with those things. I'm sure maybe some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but that's what I did. I'm really busy. Um, but back here today, y'all, you know, hopefully get back in the swing of it. Um, I need to figure out another project. And um, we did stems. I did those uh, pipe rests. Uh, I think it's time, possibly. Um to do another pipe wrap uh pipe wrap pipe case i tend to like the cases y'all versus the wraps that wrap up that's just my opinion um i had made one a while back that was camouflage had deer skin on the inside um, i really enjoyed making that one uh, mr john uh john s uh he ended up winning that one last year it went to him but uh I might just go ahead and do another one of those, y'all. Um, Cause yeah, we just did tampers not too long ago. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've done a pipe case. 
you know, we did those pipe wraps, the trifold wraps. I sent one to France and I sent one to South Africa uh, to my friends there. Uh, but I haven't done a pipe case ever since um, Mr. Ronnie Adams. I did a pipe case for him. But it's been a while. It's been a while. So maybe we'll do a case and um, we'll show you the progress on that. And then we'll get that given away in a golf, uh, which is what we do here on this channel. So we're about 30 minutes into this, y'all. And I ain't got much left to talk about. Um, I mean, I've always got things to talk about, y'all, but I'm trying to keep it, keep it in the spirit of the channel, discipline myself to stay, uh, to stay correct. Um, anyways, I hope y'all are doing the best that you can do. You know why I say that. Um, and I hope things are going good for you in your neck of the woods, uh, where you're living. I hope things, um, allow you to do what you need to do. Good blends, um, good food, good friends. Always a good time, y'all. Um, but until next week, y'all, we'll see you. Take care of yourselves. Pack a bowl, my friend. And don't forget to pass that blend. Pack it up, my friend. And then we'll run. me that blend, would you?